Do you ever do that thing where you know you've got lots of study to do and you know that you should start getting it done and then like life gets in the way and you end up doing all this other stuff instead, like life stuff. And then you come back and you realize, hang on a minute, I've still got all this work to do and it feels even scarier than it did before because you've put it off for a bit. That's basically where I'm at as of today. My life has been a bit of a mess. The situation is that I'm looking to move in with my best friend in Sydney, which is kind of a challenging thing to do. As a result, I'm a little bit behind in my study and I feel pretty stressed because I really, really want to submit some case reports to my supervisor by the end of this week. So this vlog, it's going to be all about the grind and it's going to be like how I overcome adversity because right now I actually don't I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it, to be honest. I'm concerned. This may be one of those situations where I've set myself up with too big of a task. The thing that's keeping me going, like this is the thing that I tell myself when I just don't know how to keep going. I get to do this. I don't have to do this, I get to do it. This afternoon's plan is to edit my case report. Got a lot to fix up now. Um, I'm gonna work on that all afternoon along with a little bit of cleaning. My place is a mess. I'm trying not to show you, but like it's very messy. <laughs> everything I wanted to with study, but I did finish a decent chunk. Nothing has gone according to plan today. Everything is a mess. Basically, I was gonna work at home and do telehealth sessions, and then these workmen started bashing down my door, and I forgot that today's the day they're changing my door. So I had to run out of the house, and the weather is raining, and my umbrella broke. And the only good news so far, I've had um, some cancellations. Not that like, you know, not that I don't like talking to clients, it's just that it means that I can play catch up a little bit, and I feel so behind in everything right now. <laughs> I've got some more unexpected but good news. We've heard back from one of the places that our application is going to be progressed. So fingers crossed. I've got some news. I found out that we have been approved for an apartment. We got accepted. Yes. I feel very lucky. I've decided not to do any study tonight, but I've got three more nights to work on my case report. I'm at work, it's the next day, and I am definitely still nervous about all the work I have to do for these case reports. I'm almost avoiding thinking about it, but tonight I'm gonna have to face it. And I feel overwhelmed, but also a bit excited about moving now. Like it's a lot to think about, but now I'm also thinking, yes, this is an exciting new chapter. I'm really, really, really tired. <laughs> I just want to go to bed. It's a lot. I could let this overwhelm me, but I'm just trying to take it little step by little step. So last night I did it again. I put off studying, now the pile has grown and I've only got two more nights left to get all of this work done for these case reports. I'm very conscious that I am doing this to myself. I still feel really optimistic and I'm starting to think that it's probably because the end is so close in sight. Like I only have a month and a half left until I get my full registration as a psychologist. And I have been working for this for most of my 20s. <laughs> so to be at this point now, it almost doesn't feel real. Like sometimes I have to pinch myself because I don't actually feel like I'm even close because it's felt that way for so long. If I was in my undergrad and I was cramming for an assignment, it would be a lot harder for me to be optimistic because the end almost felt 
impossible. I look back at that period of my life with a lot of kindness and compassion because honestly my mental health was probably at its worst and that was the hardest period during my study. If you can hang on there and take study step by step, eventually it's going to develop like compound interest. At some point it's going to amplify and the rewards are really going to pay off. The stresses of work and also moving house and general adulting, these things are hard but all of it's worth it because every single day I get to go into a job that I absolutely love to do. Like my job actually lights me up and I get excited going into work. So if I do a bit of internal reflection, I think that really is part of the reason why it's a bit easier for my mindset to be more optimistic and more hopeful because in this phase in my life, things are kind of coming together. And I need to be aware of that because I know that it's not always like that on the journey, especially at the beginning. That's when it feels the hardest. So if you're at the start of the journey, please, please be kind to yourself and just take it little step by little step because I promise you one day it's going to take you somewhere amazing. Oh my gosh, I just did it. I just finished the rest of my two case reports before supervision for my supervisor. I genuinely thought I wasn't going to get there, but I did it. I just want to thank, thank myself. Good job. This is a very, very good day. <laughs> Just got into work, got a coffee. It's looking like a good day today, Friday. My agenda for the day, I've got a little bit of admin time to begin with and then uh, I've got three clients and one and a half hours of supervision like all clunked together and I'm gonna have to present the reports. So that's the plan. <laughs> I'm just about to share my reports with my supervisor. <laughs> hey Max, yeah I'm good, how are you going? I've been like really stressing about it. I have an amazing supervisor. He's read my reports and I'm happy to announce. Hang on, let me just um, quickly get the thing. I am excited to let you know that I can cross off. I can cross off number one. I still need to submit it to APRA, but I'm pretty confident touch wood. And I can also cross off one of the case reports required for my supervisor. Meaning out of my checklist, things I have left to do to get my full registration as a psychologist. I only have two more case reports left. It's a very good feeling. It doesn't feel real. Overall, I'm so excited. So now I'm gonna go home and it's a Friday night and I'm probably not gonna do any work. Hope you enjoy the vlog and I'll talk to you in another episode. Bye.